Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about burnouts. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Now the good part originated from drag racing. Burnouts were done to get the tires nice and hot so they'll sticky and they'll stick to the road so they can do the quarter mile faster. To give you an historical explanation of this, quarter horses, especially here in Texas, they would race a quarter mile. One horse would see how fast it could go in a quarter mile against other horses. Now a horse has a limited amount of power. Believe it or not, one horse isn't one horsepower. One horse a strong one is equivalent to 14.9 horsepower. Heck, a strong human can even put out 5 horsepower when he exerts himself, but even at a really strong horse of 14.9 horsepower, it's still not putting out all that much power and it's not making the horse's feet slide when it's running. But take a modern drag racer, some of those put over a thousand horsepower. Well, that's going to make the tires really spin and they're not going to grab onto the track unless they're really soft and really bitey. So at the drag strip, before the race, they'll do a burnout, get the tires nice and hot, then they get sticky and then they can do the run where they don't want to be burning any rubber then because that's called braking traction. And I know in England and Australia and other places they don't call it burning out your tires, they call it braking traction and they get a fine, I know in Australia for sure, I've had customers say they got fines for braking traction in a city and they had to pay the fine for making their tires burn out. So on a drag strip, braking traction, burning rubber, it's a good thing to do as you warm up your tires, but let's face it, we drive in normal city traffic on a highway, there if you're going to be burning rubber, it's a bad thing to do. Because at the drag strip they got the uh, front brakes locked on and it's just burning the back wheels, but in the street most people are doing a burnout while the car's still moving and since you're losing traction it fishtails around. I'm sure many of you have seen those YouTube videos where somebody's doing a burnout and they go out of control and they smash into stuff. It's a bad thing to do burnouts on the street. And here I have to say, of course, it's a macho thing. Really, how many women do you see doing burnouts? It's always guys. It's a macho thing. I guess the cowboys, you know, they wanted to rear their horses up in the air to show how great they were. Then guys got on motorcycles and they wanted to do wheelies to show how great they are. And now guys with cars and big engines, they do burnouts to smoke their tires to show how macho they are. It's really a male thing, you gotta admit it. And of course, not only is it a bad thing to do for safety reasons, but it's bad for your vehicle. It's going to wear out the tires and put undue strain on your transmission, if you rear wheel drive on the differential, and if you have a standard transmission, of course, it's going to eat up the clutch. It's not a good thing to do to your car to be doing burnouts. <laughs> and now I'll talk about the ugly part of burnouts. If you've ever been to Sturgis, where they have the big motorcycle rally in North Dakota, you know they have burnout pits there. You certainly can't miss the burnout pits. You can smell them and you can hear them. And there, it's the most macho thing of all. They get their motorcycle, they drive to the burnout pit. Then they burn out the rear tire and they keep burning it until it explodes and blows up. Now to me, that's just plain dumb. You know, you're wasting a tire. Most of them are drunk out of their minds and they, it's their entertainment, so I, what the heck, it's entertainment, but I still say it's pretty dumb. Now I can't say it's bad because it's not going to hurt anybody. The motorcycle's all tied down and safely, you know, they've got all kinds of safety areas so the pieces aren't going to hit anybody, but to me, that's the ugly part of doing burnouts. <laughs> So, if you're just a normal driver, heck, leave the burnouts to the guys at the drag strip who spend lots of money on their engines and transmissions and tires, and your car will thank you for not throttling it within an inch of its life. But at least now, everyone knows the history of burnouts and what the consequences of it is. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.